and America into a confusion of conflicting opinions. It's go-go to Washington for the name that's stolen all the headlines. Richard Nixon promoting his image as the all-American family man with his wife, his daughters, Patricia and Julie, and Julie's fiancé, grandson of ex-president Eisenhower. Here's a quotation from the new president-elect's spontaneous victory speech. Almost impossible to see, but a teenager held up a sign, bring us together. And that will be the great objective of this administration at the outset, to bring the American people together. This will be an open administration, open to new ideas, open to men and women of both parties, open to the critics as well as those who support us. One name on Dick Nixon's agenda under the Vietnam heading will be Madame Nguyen Thi Binh, leader of the National Liberation Front at the rather abortive Paris Peace Talks. Names in the news here at home include 23-year-old Sally Ann Turner from Devonshire. She's just been elected 1968's ideal barmaid at a contest in a Fleet Street pub. Pulling a pint for Michael Whitbread before collecting her prize, a case of champagne and a continental holiday. Arriving home from Mexico after winning the world driver's title, Graham Hill, and one of our Olympic sailing gold medalists, Ian McDonald. Graham was among 17 outstanding personalities at the Men of the Year lunch in London. Olympic gold medalist David Hemery, George medalist for gallantry Sergeant James Matchett, and Colonel Colin Mitchell, Mad Mitch of the Argyles. Heart transplant pioneer, Professor Christian Barnard. Round the world yachtsman Alec Rose and lifeboat coxswain John King. Olympic gold medal boxer Chris Finnegan and England's test captain Colin Cowdrey. Some of the greats of 68. In South Vietnam, the